because that old world, where you were hand-carrying files filled with paper and x-ray negatives, at least you knew that without you carrying the stuff, your, the different places you were going weren't talking to each other about you and without your consent. Uh, if I'm 35 and, and having an interview, do I necessarily want to tell that boss that I was in a diversion program when I was 18 uh, to stop a substance abuse problem? Do I necessarily want everybody to know everything about me as a condition of getting health care in this country? Can the patient have any control about who knows what, when, and always with their consent? Yeah, privacy is, I think, one of the foundational issues. We can't solve privacy. The technologies can't really move forward. What do we need for that? We need a policy framework that enables people to have control. And we need technologies that are within people's reach so that they can directly tell uh, through technology uh, what kind of release of information they want to have happen. And both of those things are today available in some form and in some places but increasingly will become ava available. Do I have any worries? Should I be worried? Should no. I be at least careful? I think uh, the worry is with our society and especially the younger generation being so involved with things like Facebook and you know we have LinkedIn for the more professional groups and and I can see the I can see the future with the medical home model and doctors having teams of diabetics talking together and teams of, of teenagers talking together about, you know, uh, sexual education or whatever that become more part of your lifestyle and then become transferred into the discussions among friends about what I learned today. And that's how you're going to get that, that, that lack of privacy going through the, 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 the internet. Because, and then later on, people being able to have access about your past and your history. But, it, but in but terms of the But are we pushing toward a world where I won't be able to say, I don't want those people to know that about me, that I was a, a psychiatric inpatient 15 years ago. I'm not ashamed of it, but I don't necessarily want everybody that I do business with to know that about me. Well, health information technology in general, just like any medical records, are ruled by the HIPAA Act, the mm -hmm. Privacy Act anyway, mm -hmm. which says your records can only be shared with your permission unless in an emergency situation, um, only with those who have a need to know. Now, can systems be hacked? Yes. You know, there are all sorts of securities to... to build in. But the reality right now is when you go into a doctor and they hand you that piece of paper to sign to give permissions, do you read the entire thing? Many of us in, in the paper world, whatever the doctor puts in front of us, we sign. What I would say now is now what's being put in, in front of you for an exchange, and it depends on whether the exchange is built in what's called opt-in or opt-out. You know, an opt-out system means everyone's information goes in, and I think these are are good ones unless you say no and you're allowed to say no technology can also tag information that can't be shared right now laws prevent uh, substance abuse and and mental health for the most part information from being shared um, but will that need to be changed and massaged some I mean people with persistent chronic mental illness die 13 years early because their health care information is often not changed so it is going to drive policy really rational thinking among people of how to preserve privacy how to be realistic mm -hmm. but you know what's going to be put in front of you now is something saying and your information may be shared electronically and you need to say what does that mean People should always be aware and advocate for themselves. But I think for the most part, just like your doctor's office, you trusted the records weren't shared, the system electronically is being set up the same way. And while it's important to make sure that you're able to control who gets to see what when, to actually get to the point where you're actually uh, embracing the promise of what health IT may have to offer, to be able to allow the doctors within the doctor-patient relationship for that doctor to make better decisions about your health and keeping you healthy, they do need to have access to all that information. Aha. Uh -huh.